Well, happy year of the dragon on the lunar calendar. We are celebrating by opening fortune cookies. And we've had two weeks of that with some problems. And uh, we are down to, amazingly, the very last fortune cookie after after everything there's nothing nothing left it's it's empty it's empty there is nothing left um locked out that i've got one left for us but um yeah we're going to be doing one more video of the series tomorrow cuz tomorrow is the day of the parade at least for new york city and I'm in, I'm a New Yorker. I'm a Burroughs girl. I'm now in uh, rural upstate New York, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and it's the culmination of everything. So I don't know who does and doesn't have parades. I don't know if there are people, uh, places doing the, uh, lantern festival today, but, um, I, I really like this picture. Uh, it's It's got the lanterns. It's got the, the moon, which, you know, lunar. Uh, cherry blossom trees, I believe. And uh, you might have noticed a bunch of people. And people and family, that's another big part of the holiday and the celebration. So you got light, which is a big component in a lot of celebrations, uh, in many different cultures. And, um, so yeah, the light, I, I was, I, I just spared you me singing that, you know, by the light of the silvery moon. Never mind. Uh, not appropriate. Anyway, so light, food, people, nature. So aside from the food, um, even got some architecture in there, which is nice. So, uh, I, yeah, I like, I like this one quite a bit. So, uh, shall we get on to the fortune cookie? Oh my goodness. It's the last one, but, but tomorrow I, and I completely forgot about it. I've got, uh, something else in store for us. So, uh, now if it turns out that the fortune in here is awful for whatever reason, and yes, it's, it's an opinion, um, I, I do have backup with the ones that I have saved over the years. I have my little, my cute little green jug. And I keep all the fortunes that, that I particularly enjoy in there. It's it's very tiny, so uh, it's it's not like there's a whole lot that can fit in there. It, it seems to work. It works for me. And um, this, this was uh, essentially a gift. And uh, I really ought to call the person that... Uh, was involved with all the decisions that, that went into me getting this. I'm sounding so cryptic. Let's get to the cookie. All right, ready? And, and again, I'm sorry my hands are terrible. You know, I don't, I don't live the life of just sitting around and painting nails and, and, you know, eating bonbons and, although I did have brownies today that I made. All right, right side up or upside down? You know what we've never done? Ooh. Ah, and I dropped it. Never mind. All right. Right side up or upside down? Oh, wait. Boy, I'm really... Oh, is there no... Oh, yeah. No, I see it. All right. Now I have to mix it up again because I saw... Boy, I'm really messing with y'all today, aren't I? Such is life sometimes, but you know what? Things change. Things go on. We manage. For the most part. And it's ooh. And <laughs> and it's right side up. You think it's gonna be a good one? Might be a good one. Could be a good one. We've had a few good ones. Oh, let's go over to the nice picture. I really do like this quite a bit. Am I getting the whole thing in the frame? I'm not sure. I don't think I am. It's tough. It's tough. I'm not going to get into the whole details. Accept your independence and use it wisely. Oh, that could be kind of deep. 
Well, you know, as we uh, as we grow, as we get older, we get independence from uh, parents, and uh, should not be relying quite a, so much on uh, nepotism and such, and uh, making our own decisions, making our own mistakes through life, and learning through them. Experience being at least one of the best teachers. So um, there's there's a lot going on there, isn't it? Except, I'm sorry, my hand is not steady. Okay, that should be better. Accept your independence and use it wisely. I, I'm also enjoying that they use the correct accept. So there's three words that get uh, mixed up a lot. Um, yeah, independence. It's a it's a powerful thing. It's a double edged sword, as they say. I think we got a good one here. I'd very much like to hear um, people's stories and and whatnot. You know, some uh, shocks that came along with being independent. Maybe your first apartment. Maybe your first checking account. Maybe your first credit card. Um, maybe home renovations. Maybe things with a car. Maybe even the, the first time uh, you did, um, hmm, taking over the garden for the family, maybe. You know, some kind of big step. That can be, you know, especially if your family's relying on that food. That can be big. There's all sorts of, of uh, milestones in our lives. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a very different feeling when you go from having a safety net of someone who can help you out of a jam or who can maybe take a bit of the responsibility uh, or blame if necessary, you know, things happen in life. It's very different when all of a sudden, or not all of a sudden, when there's, when there's no backup really for you. And uh, this is another good thing about living in a uh, nice community in a decent society where people look out for each other. Uh, you know, it's, you know, I'm an introvert. I, I like doing my own thing and all, but it, it's good to be a part of a group and help each other out. And it's a good feeling too, when you can help someone. Um, uh, well, hopefully it is. So, um, yeah, I, I would like to hear anybody, anybody watching this, um, I would like to hear thoughts on, on independence and, and how you used it wisely. You know, that would be nice. I'm very limited on time here. My time's almost up for my raw footage. I don't know how long this is going to be when it finally gets done. How many cuts I'm going to have to take out of it to make it sound halfway decent. So, uh, yeah, so happy near the dragon. Happy... Lantern Festival, if that's proper to say, and uh, cheers.